Hi guys, it's Calamity Zone and welcome back to a new game called Wear Cleaner. It's a free game and I thought I'd uh, give it a go because apparently it has lots and lots of good uh, reviews on Steam. And look at our cute little guy. Daryl, who goes there? I heard the elevator. Don't think you can sneak pa one past old Daryl. Oh, oh hey Daryl, it's just me. So we're playing as Kyle then. Good to hear from you, bud. Ready for another week? Yeah, my rent's due at the end of this week. Really hope I can pay it off. Ugh, no need to worry, Kyle. I'm sure it'll be a smooth and easy week. Maybe if I'm lucky, something exciting will happen too. And hey, if you need anything, you make sure to let your old head of security pal Daryl Dar know. Thanks, Daryl. Anyways, I've taken enough of your time. I'll let you get to your jan janitorial duty. See you tomorrow, bud. So, uh, we play as a janitor in this game. But at the minute we're just doing the tutorial, so it's telling us how we clean up. Pretty simple. Howl and hugs is the business we work for, apparently. At this point, I kind of didn't realise that the map tells me where things are. Like, the spills. So I kind of have a walk around trying to figure out where I can clean things up. And that's a lot of uh, print from a printer malfunction apparently. The good thing we can just wash it off with water. I also don't know why this person come in looking so confused about me cleaning. I'm the janitor, like what's your issue? I'm doing my job. And then we go home for the day because we've done our tasks. The uh, kills will make sense in a second, I promise. We head home for the day. And turns out we're a really, really cute werewolf. <laughs> Dear Howlin' Hugs employee, all employees must work nights for one week of unpaid overtime or else you're not getting your paycheck. All the best. Well, here comes the dilemma. And off we go to work our night shift and hope that nothing goes wrong. So if I'm spotted, I automatically will kill things. I devour the corpse and have to clean it up. So I have to be very careful. Hold it. Just because it's a late, a late at night doesn't mean you don't get to say hello. <laughs> hey, Daryl. Glad to have someone to talk to you. Feeling a little under the weather? You sound different. It must be because of the intercom. This whole unpaid overtime situation isn't great. Hard to disagree with you there. They got me cooped up in the small security office guarding the main elevator main elevator entrance. With the CEO working overworking everyone. Oh boy. Since we're working nights now, I'm gonna make sure to keep an extra big eye out for anything suspicious. I'd better let you get back to it. See you later. Yeah, we're kind of the suspicious thing here, but he doesn't need to know that. So at this point I'm kind of just walking around trying to figure out where to go to do the cleaning and I'm really really iffy about the other workers because I don't want to be caught. <laughs> I also found a collectible here. I didn't uh, get all the collectibles but that's okay. And we're cleaning up projectile diarrhea. <laughs> that's lovely. So each of the workers that you come across will have a little timer above their head which tells you how long it is until they move. And the whole premise is you've got to clean without uh, getting caught. <laughs> which uh, I, I do get caught quite a few times. I found another collectible. And then I kind of just go down here and chill out for a bit to try and see when that lady's going to leave. Because I have to go in and clean up her art studio. 
and I don't want to get caught. I believe hiding in my little janitor's office here is like a safe place because they don't come in there. Like, I don't think any anybody comes in there. Painter's mental breakdown. <laughs> well, that's an odd mess to have to clean up. And as soon as I'm done that, I try and get out of there as quick as possible because I don't want to get caught. I did try to make it so that this would have been a sort of no kill run the entire playthrough, but uh, I'm not that skilled. <laughs> now we can uh, vacuum up stuff. So we've got a vac pack as, to, in, as well as a wash pack. Carl, Carl, I've been waiting for you. I want to tell you about something I found. Daryl, don't shout like that. You scared me. Wait, you found something? When I was doing my safety checks around the office, I found a tough affair with blood on it. Or maybe it was jam. Uncertain, but either way, it's suspicious. Why would you ever find something like that in the office? Beats me. Something with a foot, though. I suspect a dangerous animal. I run a tight and safe ship. Can't let some animal run around freely. Well, good luck with finding it, I mean. I bet it'll already be caught by tomorrow. Let me know if you see anything. We've got two messes to clean. And I can't go through that way. <laughs> so I'm in the main office area. And here I am like kind of being like, oh, I, I've got to try not to get caught. And then I can switch to my vacuum and I vacuum up all the party stuff. I like how I individually suck up each letter. And then I do my little spinny boys, trying to wash everything off. There are several times at this, in this moment that I panicked because I was like, oh my god, I don't want to get caught. Then I got caught anyway and had to clean up the person's body and I was like, no. This is where things went horribly for me. I just kept killing. And then I realised I had to go kill Jonathan because Jonathan saw everything. <laughs> and I'm just adding up my messy, a mess total at this point. So I'm trying to clean it up really quickly before anyone notices, which, yeah, doesn't, doesn't work very well for me. just realized uh, looking back at the footage now I left a bit of blood on the wall and I don't think I noticed you didn't see anything <laughs> they're overly suspicious and then they found the body so I had to go kill them I think this is probably one of the worst nights I had I just willingly made myself go and attack that person because I was like, there is no way I'm going to be able to clean up everything without them being cautious and then catching me. So I was like, no, we'll just dispose of them while we have the chance. Now I go in, get this collectible, and then head over to the other mess that I was meant to clean a while ago, but uh, that didn't happen. And somebody apparently shattered the fish tank, so that's lovely. Now we get to leave. I realized somebody was at a cub cubicle there and I panicked. I was like, don't spot me, don't spot me. I'm innocent, I swear. I killed six people and it took me three minutes to complete. We can also do uh, shooting compressed trash balls now, uh, which I could have used as a distraction, but I never did. At this point, Daryl's getting pretty suspicious. He's like, uh, I'm going to have to make something because, you yeah, know, nah, this, this creature is getting away from me. 
all while uh, we're the creature that he's concerned about. Yeah, so I went through achievements later on and found out that you can very much uh, suck everything up into like in the trash, but you can put it into a ball and then shoot it in the direction of your co-workers and it distracts them. I didn't realize this until later on. <laughs> I mean, it did say it when the uh, little thing come up, but I kind of forgot about it pretty quick. Because I was like, oh, no, I'm going to do this one without getting any kills. But we'll see how well that goes. <laughs> We've also got a rebellion happening in the office because everybody is not pleased about having to work overtime with no pay. At this point, I sort of have no idea where I've got to go, so I'm just sort of making little area, go, like making little walks to little areas to try and figure out where I have to go for my next cleaning task, and trying not to get caught. This little exploration I did actually saves me a lot later on because then I figured out different areas, and then I found different ways around the office, so it's quite handy. I don't know if uh, washing down overheating servers would work in real life, but hey, it worked for us. And it's perfect timing because the person who was in the office has now decided to leave. I kind of just sit here at this point because I don't know where the person's going. I then realize they're coming in here and I panic. And yeah, the no kill method didn't last very long. I think I, I went and hid on the corner there because I was like, oh, you can't see me if I'm in the corner, and it managed to work. I'm trying so hard at this point to not kill another person because I really, really don't want to kill anybody. But, uh, easier said than done. I think if I sat myself down long enough and practiced, I probably could get a 100% no-kill run. I don't know <laughs> how easy, or oh, how, uh, how long that would take to get though. Apparently we're cleaning up a children's day mess now. Lovely. And there's a weird little werewolf looking uh, statue <laughs> in the middle of the room. I suppose it's the mascot seeming our business is called Howling Hugs. Here I am trying to do a mad dash around everybody because I'm like, nope, you don't see me. We don't need to add more to the tally. We got two kills. I think two is the lowest. I think. We got to capture critters and we can use it on people as well. Kyle, hold it right there. Daryl is going a bit insane. So it's not just a wild animal. What, what, what do you think it is, Daryl? No, he's starting to put together that whatever it is knows, uh, knows its way around, which is pretty, pretty dangerous. Yeah, he's, he's going a bit unhinged at this point. He's got swords and guns and who knows what else in that little hole of his behind him. And we're stressed because uh, we know it's us. So yeah, we've got a new access, a thing called Critter Catcher. 
And what you can do with the critter catcher is you can actually put it over employees' heads. I didn't use this either. I don't know why. There were so many features that I could have used. I just didn't. And I don't understand why. Here I am trying to catch all these snakes because Daryl's decided putting wild animals is a good way to lure out the animal itself, so. And we're just going to clean up after it. I also don't know how the office managed to get a, vi a vile mold infestation within a night. <laughs> but hey, it happened. I just sort of chill in here for a bit and hope that they get out the way so I can go run off and go and do the other messes. Having these little back alley doors is quite helpful because I can get in and around. I was about to walk in there and realize that uh, there is a person in there and we kind of can't get caught. I think at this point I get myself stuck because there's no way I can get out. Yep. <laughs> So then I have to just clean up uh, Cerulean's body because, hey, they walked in on me and I had nowhere else to go. Now here comes the, probably the easier part of the, most of the areas in the game is the warehouse. Because there's so many places I can run in and around and hide. I also got another collectible. <laughs> I don't know what half of these collectibles are, I just have them because I picked them up. And uh, yeah, there's, there's blood there but this time it's not from me. Apparently somebody had a crash and wrecked themselves. <laughs> Poor fella. Getting rid of these like tire mud marks was quite frustrating because it took me a lot longer than I would have liked. But we've got to be thorough with our job. <laughs> I always like that when I, like now that I'm looking back at the footage, I can see when I'm panicking because I do like little twirlies. And I'm like, where do I go? How do I get out? There are also certain areas of the map each night that are blocked off that you can't access which makes things quite frustrating when you're trying to get away without getting caught. I don't know why I took the way up that way. I could have just walked down the other way, but apparently that's the way I wanted to take. And then at this point, I also found out if you get too close to a person in a cubicle, they'll just automatically notice you, so... Yeah. <laughs> the things you learn as time goes on. And someone else found another body. Not so much a body, I'd say just more like blood stains, but you know, <laughs> that is pretty suspicious. <laughs> Anytime I see a person walking towards me, I go and hide in a cubicle. As long as it's not occupied. If it's an occupied cubicle, let's not hide in there, because that's, that's how death occurs. <laughs> And we don't we don't want uh, too much death. <laughs> we got another six. Jeez, doing really, really well. As the levels go on, the time takes longer and longer because I'm trying not to get caught and it just doesn't work very well. 
Daryl's getting a bit crazy. Apparently the monster is laughing at him. Yeah, Daryl's uh, about to go on a murder spree. <laughs> His little uh, invention will be done in the next night and he's he's getting a bit crazy. I was about to walk straight into that room and then I realised, um, no, somebody's in there, don't do that. <laughs> I think I go and hide behind the door here and they walk in here anyway and I'm like, no, why did you do that? I was doing so well. RIP to Angie for just not taking another route. <laughs> Had to come the way I wanted I wanted to hide. Apparently there was a memorial for a co-worker. I wonder if it was one of the ones that we may or may not have uh, had the fancy of uh, eating. <laughs> I also noticed as I played this, as the nights went on, the amount of mess you have to clean obviously expands but it's also the range of them expands as well apparently somebody's not pleased with the uh, our boss <laughs> at this point i'm like no please don't come in here and they don't thank god they just go and work at their workstation but i was so worried they were going to come in here <laughs> Quickly finish cleaning that up and go and hide again because I'm like, I don't want to kill any more. I'm trying not to, to kill everybody, I swear. I then decide going up through the warehouse is probably the best way to go about it because we have so many things that I have to do and I get caught. It doesn't end there though. <laughs> we go on a killing spree. Not intentional. I just keep getting caught and it gets very frustrating. I was stressing that that person walking up that middle aisle was going to find it and I was like, please don't. I just want to clean this up in peace. <laughs> please don't catch, don't catch me. I picked up another collectible. Off to my actual, off to one of the messes I actually have to clean instead of the ones I keep making for myself. And it looks like uh, Daryl or one of the co-workers has uh, decided to put snakes down again. And uh, it looks like our CEO has uh, a knife in his eyeball on a poster. So I don't think anybody's happy about having to uh, work overtime at all. Oh, there was another knife. I didn't notice that until just then. <laughs> so there was one in his eyeball and one just chilling on the ground. I need these people to leave so I can go out and get to my other mess. <laughs> no, he didn't see me. At this point, this gets a bit frustrating because I have to go in there. And I end up killing that guy because I'm too close. <laughs> but I have to get in that area anyway because I have to go where our lovely CEO is sleeping to clean. And I can't get in there if there's somebody in there. 
I ended up just walking in there. I don't know why. I think I was like, oh, maybe they won't notice me because they're focused on their work. And I'm like, that's that's not how real life works. <laughs> but that's how it works in my head, apparently. <laughs> so apparently the CEO had a drunken rampage. And we're just going to clean up after him. And we've got another collectible. We've got one minute remaining before I have to exit the office. And I managed to do it in time. I freak out here because I'm like, I need you to leave so I can get out on time. And he does. He does leave, thank God. Just noticed everything in Daryl's office is getting progressively messier as he starts to uh, freak out more. I think this is the longest time it took me to complete a level and it's the most kills. And at this point we've been caught out. <laughs> We're there cleaning up the CEO's office and there was a camera in his office and we didn't know. Our good buddy Daryl, I think, has uh, finally snapped. He now knows it's us. Oh boy, are we in for some trouble. So at this point you can pick to go back and play other levels or just continue playing and I decided to continue playing because I wanted to see how this is going to play out. Seeming Daryl's quarters. My newly made wear tracker T200 is working. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that would you Kyle? He knows we've murdered people too. And regardless, he's not happy with us because we lied to him. Need to pay my rent. You won't have to worry about paying rent anymore. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to make sure your organs splatter across the floor. I'm going to turn your tail into a keychain. See you soon, bud. So at this point, I, I can tell you now I did fail. I had to do it multiple times. I think it was like once or twice. Because you've got to go clean these areas within the time limit. But at the minute that Daryl gets closer, he automatically tracks you down with the, the wear tracker. I also just realized that that was the CEO is just chilling there. And I ate him. <laughs> at this point, like, I didn't quite realize how the wear tracker thing works. So I just kept cleaning. <laughs> I was like, oh, he's not going to know I'm exactly in here. Yeah, he is. And well, boom. Daryl got us. See you never, bud. We got no pay. So at this point, I kind of try to skip through the dialogue as quick as possible. And at this point, I realized that, yeah, okay. The minute that that green line gets too close, I need to run and get out of there. Otherwise, uh, he's going to kill me. Because <laughs> there's no surviving Daryl. And because of how close he was to me the first time around, I kind of decided I'm just going to go for a big walk around the office and try and go in another direction. That way, if I do it that way, I should have time to clean a bit better. Because he follows our little footsteps. <laughs> I also try to make sure I take the back way so it's a bit longer because I'm hoping that he follows it. What well, would be following me in the direction of exactly the right route I took. Could very well be the case that that's not how that works, but that's how I was hoping it worked at the time. I also went in here to go into Daryl's office to go pick up the collectible because I knew that that was the only time I could get it because he's not in the office.
The Rebellion's Last Stand. Yeah, I, I can't believe I didn't realize that that was the CEO. <laughs> I just was like, oh, it's a corpse, and now I recognize that it's the CEO, and I'm like, well, that's, um, tragic. <laughs> the CEO really annoyed people. Eat your hugs. Eat our hugs, it says. <laughs> at this point I realized just how the tracking system works because Daryl went right into the other place first and he was right on my, my tail and I freaked And now I do the big loop-de-loop -loop again in hopes that I can lose Daryl and get down and clean the bathrooms. So I just watched where Daryl was there to make sure that I wasn't going to get, like, murdered. <laughs> At this point I kind of freak out a little because I'm like, oh my god, I've got to deal with all these dead bodies and Daryl. Like, it's not easy. <laughs> And I just kind of went on a, like a consistent rampage and I was like, no, 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 no. I cleaned it, I cleaned it up a little bit and then I saw Daryl and I was like, no, nope, nope, time to go. <laughs> time to get out of here. Because he's, he's going to kill us. I kept trying to do this whole like bait and switch, but it didn't work. Third time's a charm, hey? That's exactly what I was hoping for when I played it this time around, because I was like, I really need to sort of get the mechanic down pretty well. I also realized by that point, obviously bait and switching doesn't work, but I was like, hey, it, it was worth a shot. <laughs> so I try to go in here and get things cleaned up very quickly. And then move on to the next one so that Daryl doesn't catch me straight up. I also thought of if I could get the time to go into each individual place that I've got to clean and just vacuum everything up, maybe that'll give me more time to come back and wash things up. So I wash a little bit up as I'm walking out, just, just to take the workload off the tiniest bit. I stayed in there and cleaned until I noticed Daryl was right there and I was like, okay, time to leave. And at this point, I'm hoping that you know, I managed to have duped him enough that I can get down and clean at least one bathroom. <laughs> and here I am trying to do it very quick but also very methodical so that it doesn't have anything left over. At this point, I freak out because Daryl was right there and I don't think I actually cleaned the room properly. I think the game just gave it to me, but it gave me the new objective to go to the mascot room and I was like, okay, I'm going to try and 
get there as quick as possible without getting caught. Because this is as far as I'd gotten in my previous two attempts. Dow really, really wants us dead. At this point, he realizes we're kind of uh, escaping. <laughs> so he's like, I'm coming down after you. And we're like, we're, we're running. Poor Daryl. He just wanted the best for everybody. And we decide to clean him up. Because why not? We're a janitor after all. We did a no kills run and we got it in 2 minutes 41. We're anxiously hoping that our paycheck goes through so that we can pay our rent. And look at that, we got our money. So this was a relatively short game, but I actually didn't mind it. And for it being free on Steam, I think it's pretty cool. You've got the option to do the no-kill challenge if you want to, which I think eventually at some point I'll go back and do. I don't know if I'll do it for a video or not, but I very much did enjoy it for a free game. It's quite, quite uh, interesting. I like it. There's a lot of achievements I didn't unlock either because I just didn't do them. <laughs> But other than that, that was Wear Cleaner. I will see you guys next time. Bye.